hands-on math. Hello, this video describes how to use a graphing calculator to do Riemann sums. Um, so suppose you have a function x squared minus 4x plus 5, uh, and we want to measure the area under this function on the interval from uh, 1 to 4 using 5 rectangles. So the function, the graph of the function is a parabola on the interval from 1 to 4, it looks something like that. Um, so if we divide that interval uh, into 5 subintervals of equal width, we get 4 minus 1 divided by 5 as the value for delta x, which turns out to be 0 0.6. So our left endpoints, uh, our left endpoints are going to be 1, 1.6, 2.2, 2.8, and um, 3.4. Right, adding delta x one more time would take us to the left limit, or sorry, the, to the right limit of um, of four. So I'm going to put those left endpoints. I want to store them in the list L1. To do that in the calculator, we have six lists uh, available down here, L1, L2, L3, L4, L5, and L6. There are, different, there are a few different ways to enter values into the list. Uh, what I find most convenient uh, is to, let me clear some things out here. So, so what I find most convenient is to um, use the curly braces above the uh, 8 key, above the parenthesis key, uh, is a curly brace to open the list and then we can enter 1, above the 7 is a comma, uh, comma, uh, 1.6, comma, 2.2, uh, comma, 2.8, uh, and comma, 3.4. Since we're using five uh, subintervals, five rectangles, um, we have five points in our list. The store key is kind of next to the 1 over here. So I'm going to hit that, and then store uh, in list one, which is uh, the second command above above the one key. Uh, so that enters our values into our list. We can kind of scan through, make sure that uh, what we have in there is is what we intended. So the second thing to do, I want to uh, I want to build my rectangles by taking the height of each rectangle to be the the function value at the left endpoint. Uh, for simplicity. There, there are other ways, of course, you could find the height of these rectangles, but we'll take the left endpoint method. Um, and so I want to apply our function, I want to apply the function to the list. Well, uh, we can define y1 to be that uh, function. So I'm going to define y1 to be uh, x squared minus 4x plus 5 and then if I go back to the home screen um, I can apply that function to list one so the y1 function that variable we can make a reference to that variable on the home screen by going to vars hitting the vars key uh, and then using the uh, right arrow to go over to the y vars menu uh, I want to choose function uh, and then y1 you know all Ten possible functions are listed here. Y1 is the one we want. Uh, using uh, sort of function notation, I want to open up a parenthesis and then type list1 inside a parenthesis. So this is going to apply the y1 function to list1. Uh, and I want to store that as list2, uh, just to be able to recall it uh, in a moment. So I'm going to store, uh, sorry, I'm going to apply y1 to list1 and store the result in list2. So these are the heights of the rectangles. Uh, to finish the problem, to complete the Riemann sum, I basically want to multiply uh, those heights by the width that we found. Uh, we're using a, an equal width for every rectangle. Um, so I'm going to multiply that by the width um, of 0.6. Uh, and I want to mu multiply the width times the sum of the rectangles. So there's a sum command under the list menu, uh, which is above the stat key. 
and it's under the math option again using the right arrow to find the math option uh, I can go down to sum and I want to take the sum of list 2 uh, which has our heights right so, so list 2 now has the heights uh, of those rectangles so if we add up all the heights and multiply by the width we get uh, an approximation the area under the curve is approximately uh, equal to 5.28 of course using more rectangles would give us a better approximation but this is the one that we chose or the one that I chose I guess um, with five rectangles alright thanks